Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we will be testing the 223 and 556 rounds when it comes to the heavier bullet weights of 68 and 77 grains. I am also going to toss in some 55 grain ammo into the mix as a baseline test of sorts. We will be shooting from an AR platform with an 18 inch barrel, one and eight twist. We'll start by shooting all three bullet weights at this steel target from a distance of 200 yards. Now this may show us a little bit of the accuracy potential of each, but try to not get too excited one way or the other with these particular shots with respect to accuracy or lack thereof. The real thing that I am looking to detect in these shots is what kind of effect, if any, will the heavier bullets with their greater downrange energy potential have on the steel when making impact. Also, what you don't see in these shots is that I'm doing a considerable amount of work with the chronograph downrange to see what the exact velocity and energy numbers are on each of the rounds that are being tested today. After we shoot the steel at 200 yards, I will share with you the chronograph results and the corresponding energy numbers. As soon as we are armed with this new knowledge, we'll come right back out and start shooting for real at 300 yards. If you liked today's video, please remember to click the like button and do subscribe and turn on the notifications icon if you haven't already done so. And as always, we're looking forward to your comments. We thank you again. We're getting ready to shoot at this steel target from a distance of 200 yards using a 223, 55 grain full metal jacket, PMC bronze. Well, here's our three shot group from 200 yards with the 55 grain PMC bronze from an AR-15, 18 inch barrel, one and eight twist. To put that in perspective, size of my hand. We'll be shooting at this steel target from a distance of 200 yards using a 223, 68 grain match hollow point from Frontier. Well, that was three shots at 200 yards with the 223 68 grain match hollow point from Frontier, and you can see the grouping size in relationship to the size of my hand. We're getting ready to shoot at this steel target from a distance of 200 yards using the 556 77 grain OTM hollow point from Six Hour.
Well, here is our target from 200 yards. We were using the 5.56 ammo, which was the 77 grain OTM by Sig Sauer. Here's our three shot group. Shot one, two, and then three. 200 yards. We'll begin with the 223 55 grain PMC bronze. It has a ballistic coefficient of 0.243. It has an advertised velocity of 2,900 feet per second. In the past, I've chronographed it at about 2,908 feet per second out of a 16-inch barrel. But out of the 18-inch barrel that I am using in this particular video, the velocity has increased to about 3,028 feet per second, which is about a 4.4% increase. And of course, that's also about 4.4% above the manufacturer claim. I also chronographed the 68 grain match hollow point from Frontier, which is a division of Hornady. It has a ballistic coefficient of 0.355 and an advertised velocity of 2960 feet per second. Now that may be a true statement if it is being fired from a 22 inch barrel, but from the 18 inch AR platform 1 and 8 twist barrel that I was using, it came in at 2790 feet per second, which is about 5.7% below their advertised claim. Here is where it starts to get interesting. Even though the 55 grain tested above the velocity claim and the 68 grain tested below their claim, when you look at the downrange energy, you will notice that at 200 yards, the velocity is a virtual dead heat, with both rounds doing about 2290 feet per second. But notice how much more foot-pounds of energy the 68 grain has. It has 797 foot-pounds of energy compared to 640 for the, for the uh, 55 grain. That is 24.5% more energy. At 300 yards, the 68 grain bullet has a velocity of 2,071 feet per second compared to 1964 for the 55 grain. That represents a 5.4% increase in velocity. Also, the energy for the 68 grain is now 647 foot-pounds of energy compared to 471 for the 55 grain, which is about 37.3% more. I also chronographed the Sig Sauer 556 77 grain open tip match. It has a ballistic coefficient of 0.362, which is the best of the three, and an advertised velocity of 2750 feet per second. I chronographed these rounds at 2964 feet per second on average, which is 7.8% more than their stated claim. Who knew? Did you know? I certainly didn't. At 100 yards, it has 1,252 foot-pounds of energy, which is more than either the 55 grain or 68 grain has at the muzzle. I'll give you a moment for that to sink in. At 200 yards, it has a velocity of 2462 feet per second, compared to 2297 of the 68 grain, and 1036 foot-pounds of energy compared to 797 of the nearest competitor, the 68 grain. These numbers represent a 7.2% increase in velocity and a whopping 30% more energy at that distance. At 300 yards, the 77 grain bullet has a velocity of 2231 feet per second compared to 2071 feet per second for the 68 grain and 851 foot-pounds of energy compared to 647 for the 68 grain. These numbers represent a 7.7% velocity advantage and a 31% advantage in foot-pounds of energy. We're getting ready to shoot at this water jug. The distance will be 300 yards. We're using the 223 68 grain match hollow point from Frontier.
Well, we're walking up right now to the water jug that was just now hit at a distance of 300 yards with that 223 68 grain match hollow point from Frontier. Let's take a look. Well, there's the back side for you right there. Won't waste your time. Here's the front side. It looks like we kind of hit it just a little bit low to the right. So not exactly perfect shot placement, but again, it must have been perfect enough. There's the backside. We'll be shooting at this water jug at a distance of 300 yards with a 556 77 grain hollow point from Sig Sauer. Well, we're walking up right now to the water jug that was just hit at a distance of 300 yards with that 77 grain 556 OTM hollow point from Sig Sauer. It would appear that this water jug was hit pretty close to dead center. And the backside, there really is no backside to show you at this juncture. So this is what happens where you combine a really good bullet with really lucky, I mean, really good shot placement. The combination of those two, this is the, uh, the end result. We'll be shooting at this water jug at a distance of 300 yards using the 223 55 grain full metal jacket from PMC Bronze. Well, this is the water jug that was kind of hit at 300 yards just now with a 223 using 55 grain full metal jacket PMC bronze. Just kind of clipped him, just kind of off to the side really. Not much of a hit, made contact with him. Had that bullet been maybe a quarter of an inch to the left, definitely had it been half an inch to the left, we would have seen, you know, some real explosions, at least on the backside on this guy. But that's the difference between a clean hit and just barely making contact. So you can see the side right there.